you have to put the question mark so this is what we call it as a conditional operator so what happens when i pass the a so it will come inside so i have case suppose false adre idna execute maadbeku anta illu heltini only one block will be executed the rest everything will be skipped let's understand this four different types of if statement so first one is simple if hello everyone i welcome all of you to the session 3 on control structures so guys hope all of you have seen the previous videos and you have liked it whatever we have done in the previous topic so if you have not watched it if you have not gone through the content what we have given you so please go back and check it's a humble request from my side because if you don't understand that if you don't watch that you will not understand this so that is a important thing that you should know so what is that i have what is the agent of the day so i will be discussing something about switch statement and conditional operators so guys switch statement and conditional operators is one of the important topic that we have so i will be discussing that in today's session so before i go to the content so let me just give you the brief recap what is that i have done till now so i have started with a simple if statement what is the syntax for that i have to write if keyword what is that i have to write i have to write the if keyword so fine so after that i will write the test condition this is what the space where i write the test condition i will just write it as tc so this is what i will call it as a true block this is what i will call it as true block that's what you need to remember so when can i use this one when i have only one condition to be tested so that condition i will give it here if that condition is true i will be executing whatever the statement that i have in the true block suppose if the condition is false what will i do i will not say anything i will start executing the rest of the statements whatever i have so this is the problem that i have to solve this problem so what is the next thing that i have so i have something called so else block that is the second type of if statement that we have studied so what is that i have if else what is that we have studied if else what happens in the if else so first i will write the if statement first i will write the if statement so this is what i will write so this is the condition that i will write so this is what i have to check for true block this is what i have to check for true block so if my condition is true i will execute this true block suppose if the condition is false so i will execute this else block so this is what i will call it as false block idu true aadre idna execute martini false aadre idna execute martini but hill en agutte false aadre nan bere yavudnu i have not specified anything normal statements execute martini suppose false aadre idna execute maadbeku anta illu heltini so idad mele the rest of the statements you will start executing so that is the speciality what is the speciality tappadre what is that you will do if the condition fails what is that you will do that is what you have specified in this but whereas here you have not specified so that is very important so fine so two types we are done what are the next two types we have so we have nested if so please understand nested if so what happens in the nested if so you have if statement yes or no you have if statement so inside this if we have if so i have one more if so if i have this is what i will call it as a true block again for this if i will have the else block yes or no so i will close it here again for this if i have the else block here so what is that you understood condition inside the condition so i have the condition inside this condition i have one more condition this is what i will call it as nested if so again i have one more the last one what is that i have ladder if so when do i use ladder if so please understand if i have a condition i will test this so this is not the condition i have one more condition to be tested so for that i will write else if i will check for one more condition i will check for one more condition again i have one more condition like this i can have n number of else if at the end what i will have how many else will have i will have only one else so please understand this so let's understand this four different types of if statement so first one is simple if only one condition i have to test so i will test here okay at that time i will use simple if suppose 
I have to specify what is that I have to do if the condition fails. So then I will use if else. Suppose I have condition inside the condition that I have to check. So I will use nested if. Suppose I have multiple conditions to be tested. I will use ladder if. So this is what you have to remember before we get into the next topic. So fine, what is that I have? I have switched statement. Switch statement is also one of the important topic that you need to understand. Let's understand the syntax. The first thing that you have to use a keyword called switch. Whenever we were using the if, what is the keyword that you guys were using? If. So in the same way, when we are using the switch, you have to use the keyword switch. So switch chanta bari beko. So fine. Again, I have the expression here. What is the expression? What exactly that expression is all about? I will discuss that. So again, I have an expression here. So I will open the flower bracket. I will open the flower bracket. So fine. You have opened the flower bracket. Then after that, what I have here? I have the case. I have to use a keyword called case. And case anta bari beko. KSLA, KS Kaushikala, case anta bari beko. All right. So fine. After that, you have to mention the value. You have to mention the value. At the end of the statement, you will write the colon. You'll write the colon. Then after that, so whatever the statement that you wanted to write in the place of block one, you can write n number of statements. But make sure that after this statements, you will never forget to write this break. You will never forget to write this break. That is very, very important. Fine. So you understood this case value one. So any rate. So you have the keyword case and value one. Then you will write whatever the statement that you want. And then you will write break. Then you will write break. That is what you need to understand. Then after that, what do you have? So again, you have case. Then you have value two. Hili value one. This is value one. This is value two. Again, you will write whatever the statements you want. Then you will write break. Then you will write break. That is what you need to understand. That is what you need to understand. Like this, you can write n number of cases. Like this, you can understand, you can write n number of cases. But like how we have one else for ladder if, the same way we have one separate special block that is default block. At the end, lastly, you will have default block. So yenike default block, I will explain that. You just have to remember the syntax. I will take up an example and then I will explain. So you have the default block at the end and then you will have the default block statements, then break, then you will end the statement. You will close the flower bracket. So this is how the general syntax or the form of switch statement. Sir, why do we use the switch statement? Let's understand. Let's write this, okay? Let's take an example to understand this. What is that we have? All right. Uh, First, what is the keyword that I have? I have switch. Let me just write switch. Let me write switch. Okay. So fine. So here I will write switch a is equal to 1. A is equal to 1. So here I will pass a. That is my expression. This a I am passing here. Okay. So after that I need to open the flower bracket. So you all know that. So case anta baritini space. So what is that I will write here? I will write 1. I will write 1. So a value is to right now it is 1. Nanta enter maadi din nanta. Okay. So please understand print hi. Okay. So then break. Next case 2. Print f hello. Okay. Then next break. I want all of you to write down this case 2. 3 print f morning okay now let me just write like this break default print invalid break okay let's understand this I will use the dynamic user enter. Okay? So, I will enter the user. So, I will enter the one and enter the one. Okay? So, one and enter the one and the LCA will be variable. So, A and the one and the one and the one. So, what is that I am passing here? 
I need to pass that A. I need to pass that A. So what happens when I pass that A? So it will come inside. So I have case. I have case. Whatever the A value that I have. So that A value is this value. 1, 2, 3, 4. Whatever I have written. So that is A value. So this value will be compared with this. So A value A nivaga. A value A intermediate 1. So it will check this is equal to 1. This A value is equal to 1 na. So then case 1. So this statements whatever I have. So let me just change the color. So that this statements whatever I have inside this case 1 will be executed. So illi e statements na execute other case 1 execute other rest everything will be skipped. Rest everything will be skipped. Hege. So I will tell you please understand. So what is that I have here? Print f high and there. So e statement execute agate. Next statement is a break. That is very important. You need to understand the next statement. What I have? I have break. Break speciality. You know, if I encounter the break, so it will come out of this block. It will come out of this block. Bere yao statement no, e close bracket is yalla. So, il yao de statement idhru no, il yao dhuno execute madala. Il in dhane wapas ban bidate idhru in the oragadege. Forcefully, you are coming out of this block with the help of this break. You are not executing anything else. So, that is what you need to understand with this break. So fine, case hang work agate kotai talwa. So inge, so you are selecting yaud yaud be kunta. So if you enter one, so this block will be executed. Same way, suppose user enter martar the two. So if the user is entering two, so what happens again? Nani ena pass martine. A value eno two. So it will compare case value idu two idia illa. So this will not be executed. This case. Whatever I have, this will not be executed. It will go to the second case. Again, case value is 2, 2. So then this block will be executed. First E statement execute agate, next to break statement. Agate. Break one takshna, this to skip pack budate, or budate. You got my point? So fine, you understood this. Let's go to A is equal to 3. A 3 and the enter martha and the corner. One time only one the case matra execute madakagadu. If you are running the program, only one case can be executed at one time. That is what you need to understand here. I cannot execute multiple cases here. So that's what you need to remember. Okay. So what is the A value here now? A value is 3. That is what I have entered. I have passed A. I the next check. So case 1. Compare. A value equal to illa. So E part skip. Execute. So next. A value equal to illa. 3 to equal to I am skipping this part. So next, A value ke E part equal a. Yes, this is equal. Only this part will be executed. Only this part will be executed. That's what you need to remember. So then, what is the next one that I have? So this break default. I execute agata. No, whenever you encounter the break, so you will come out of this break. You will come out of whatever the blocks, whatever the content you have inside this block, you will come out of this. So fine, I can enter A is equal to Z and the enter Martini. Z is Lydia. So do I have Z here? So A na pass Martini. Do I have Z here? No. Do I have Z here? No. Do I have Z here? No. So Yav case alone and enter Martadilla. So Ava Gavda Grown the execute Agbakala. Ava get default block execute Agate. So then the default block will be executed. That's what you need to remember. So print invalid. And then you will encounter with the break. So you will come out of the block. So this is how. The switch case is working. You are switching between the block of code by your option, whatever you have given. So that is what you need to understand. That's what you need to understand and remember with respect to switch case. So fine. Let's uh, let's check out what is the flowchart that I have for a switch case. So guys, first I will enter. So A value enter Martini. So that's what I have given it as switch expression. So fine. So that switch expression will be compared with the block one. If that is true, so then this block will be executed and it will come. Okay. It will come to the statement X. It will not execute all these blocks. Suppose it will check if the second value is true, then it will execute the second block and then it will come to this. Suppose if it is equal to third block, then it will execute the third block, then it will come. It will skip all other blocks. So that is the 
concept that switch case flowchart is explaining you. So please remember only one block will be executed, rest everything will be skipped at a time. So that's what you need to remember. So fine, moving on to the next one that I have. So I think I have already explained this when I was dealing with the operator. Let me just have you the quick recap of conditional operator. So guys, you have three things. What is that you have? So let's take x is equal to, so a is greater than 10, all right? Question mark a colon b. What exactly is this? Imagine a is equal to uh, 11, okay? a is equal to 11, all right? b is equal to 2, b is equal to 2. Let me just write, uh, make it as b instead of 10. Okay, this is B. Let me just erase it for all of you. Okay, A is greater than B. So what happens? This condition will be tested. What is the A value? A value is 11. So B value is 2. Is it true? Yes. If this is true, then this will be executed. This value, whatever I have, so this will be assigned to the X. So what is the value of A? So the value of A is 11. So the value of A will be assigned to X. So x value after the statement, what will be the x value? x value will be 11. Suppose if this condition is false, let's take uh, uh, let's take 1. a is equal to 1 now. So what is the b value 2? So is this condition true? No. So this will not be assigned. So this b value will be assigned. If the condition fails, b value will be assigned. So this is true value. This is false value. So this is the condition. So very important that you need to understand this question mark. You have to put the question mark. So this is what we call it as a conditional operator. So this is how the conditional operator is working. So you need to remember this. All right. So by this, I have come to an end of the session. My dear students, it's very important that you need to know all these concepts. So what is that I'm going to do next? I will show you all the concepts, whatever I have done. So practically I will explain, I will execute and I will show you. The same concepts I will show you practically how are we trying to execute and how are we using this one more time. So by saying this, let me uh, sign off for the day. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.